Like sands through an hourglass, these are the bowls of our lives. Come with us now as we join the Wonderly family, discussing one of the profound questions of our time. Dad! Oh, Dad! Hey, Dad! <sighs> What's the matter? Oh, son, it's you. What's the problem? Dad, can we have a father and son talk just bowl to bowl? Of course, son. That's why I'm here. Thanks, Dad. You know, we've been studying the birds and the bowls in school, but I don't understand, Dad. Where did I come from? Uh, uh, good, good question, son. Uh, 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 ex excellent question, bright, bright boy. Well, the uh, the answer is uh, 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 moles and and plastics, and and then the the, the whizzy is connected to the uh, what's it? But well, I'm not sure if uh, 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 son. Why don't you go ask your mother? Great, Dad. Thanks for the help. Uh, no problem. Uh, uh, great talking to you, son. Uh, uh, should do it more. Uh. Hi, mom. Oh, hello, my little wonder. Mom, I have a very important question. Where did I come from? Oh, my darling, I'm glad you asked. You were created a long time ago. And like everyone in the Tupperware product family, you're very special. It takes a long, long time, sometimes even years, to create each Tupperware brand product. Dad said it had something to do with molds. Yes, that's right. But that's just one small part of it. There are many steps that come before that and after. Just consider the fact that there are more than 200 products in our family. Plus, many new and exciting ones are introduced each year. And with every new product idea, dozens of separate steps have to be taken before it's actually manufactured. First, a whole product strategy has to be developed, and then concepts are created by designers in and outside of Tupperware. The best ideas are selected for further development, and then actual designs are produced. This process can start with as many as 20 to 30 concepts and is narrowed down to just a few that move on to the next step. Wow, it's awesome that so much work went into me. But that's just the start. For each product, a prototype or model is created, and then extensive market research is done. Sometimes, after market testing, the product has to be changed or refined, and sometimes the whole idea is dropped. In fact, dozens and dozens of ideas are considered each year but only a few are accepted. And for those products that do make it, a whole series of decisions must then be made. How much will the product cost? When should it be introduced? And how many products will guests at Tupperware parties buy? But how can they know that ahead of time? Forecasting is perhaps the most difficult part of all because they have to schedule the production of each item months and months in advance. They also need this information to decide what kind of mold to order and how many. And even though everything is done to ensure there will be enough of a product for everyone, sometimes Tupperware items, especially new ones, are even more popular than anyone expected. Now wait a minute, Mom. Why don't they just make more? Well. That's where the mold comes in. After a product has been accepted by the new product review board, the design is finalized using computer-aided design. The final design is transferred electronically to engineering, where computers are used to design the mold to make the product. The mold design on computer tape is then sent to Diecraft, our mold manufacturing plant in Australia. Diecraft is the most advanced mold-making facility in the world. Here, the design on computer tape is translated into machine instructions for computer-controlled cutting and grinding equipment. The process is completed with hand polishing and fitting. The mold-making process takes six to nine months and is very expensive. A single mold can weigh 10,000 pounds and have 150 parts. Also, 
every mold has to be modified to reflect the fact that different plastics and colors mold differently. Even so, all products must still meet the same specifications. The number of molds built depends upon the forecast. Sometimes only a single mold is made and it must be sent to several countries around the world to make the piece for sale in those countries. So a plant doesn't have all the molds all the time. You're so quick, my little wonder. That's exactly right. And if they did, it would make each item much too expensive to sell. For example, just think about your Tupperware school bus. Why, do you know that it has 30 separate parts and that there are 15 different molds used to create every school bus? Each mold makes one part and each mold requires one molding machine. With some molds, it takes four hours just to get the injection machine ready to work. And because many newer Tupperware products are more detailed than ever before, they take longer to produce than ever before. With some items, there's a four month lead time required to build enough inventory to launch a product. A mold can only run one color at a time, so on some sets it can take a long time. So why do they have so many new products then? Because like all companies, Tupperware has to create new markets for its products, as well as keep its current customers happy. That's why Tupperware is developing more and more really creative toys in addition to its various innovations in designs and colors for storage, serving, and cooking products. Yeah, but maybe they could speed things up a little? Oh, they do work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, producing all the many Tupperware products, new products, old products, and promotional products making sure there is enough of each one to supply all our customers every time an order is placed. The most important thing, though, is quality. That means from the time the raw materials for Tupperware products arrive, they are checked to make sure they meet the highest standards. And at every stage of the process, the products are tested, retested, and retested again and again. And it all takes time and care and lots of planning to get each Tupperware product where it belongs as fast as possible. Gee, just look at all that Tupperware. Oh, that doesn't even begin to show how much there is. Why, right now, there are about 350,000 Tupperware school buses being made each year. That's a total of 10 and 1 half million parts being produced each year just for the school bus. And if you consider all Tupperware products, more than 550 million parts are produced each year in the United States. And more than 1.1 billion are made around the world. That's over 5 billion parts over the past five years. Gee, Mom, that makes me feel kind of small and unimportant. Oh, but you shouldn't, my darling. Every Tupperware item, every single one, is important. There are dozens of steps involved in creating each product, and then years of experience, work by hundreds of people, and the very latest in equipment is used to produce each one. Most importantly, each and every product is sold by one dealer or manager to one customer. And it's that one dealer and one customer who really make each item very special. They expect quality and they get it. Quality that is worthy of having a lifetime warranty and worthy of carrying the Tupperware name. Wow, Mom, you know everything. I think I'll go tell Dad about where I came from. It'll really bowl him over. <laughs> Like sands through the hourglass, these are the bowls of our lives. Be sure to join us for our next exciting episode.